done is just the way I see the drink on me before me I've been the one, no after saying This is the vibe, don't need to fake it Seeing the world Friends, we made it to Orlando, Florida. And now we are about to do my hair. So I got some weave. I'm going to add this to my hair. Mommy, say hello. hello. Don't just walk by and not speak. Hello. We're going to add these clippings to my hair so we get some more length and fullness. And then we're going to braid her. And then we have check-in at 10.20 in the morning. It's 1.34 in the morning. We about to eat and we are about to eat dinner. <laughs> Take it off for you. My mom's allergic to bacon. Mm. Girl. And we got empanadas and she's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to take the bacon off. Is it empanada? Mm -hmm. Is it good though? <laughs> Sandwich, I'm yeah, telling you. Is. They put too much. Um, mm. Mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we about to eat. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Okay, so it's currently. 3 30 a.m and i'm on my way downstairs to pick up our instacart order because one of our luggages is missing and it has a bunch of my toiletries in it i don't do my hair so that's why i got a sack on my head i really hope i don't run into anybody i know because i'm gonna cry Good morning, friends. We are off to a little rocky start this morning, but because we're in a rush, I will update y'all after. But right now, we're getting ready for check-in. Yay! Good morning. <laughs> y'all, I am here with Sharon. Hi, she says she watches my vlogs. <laughs> So excited, tell them your name, your title, and what you're most looking forward to this week. Hi, my name is Sharon Yoon, I'm Miss Kick Harbor Preteen, and also I'm really excited to connect with all these amazingly talented girls from all across the world and be able to gain these life skills from the Iron Pageant Powerhouse. How old are you? I'm <laughs> 13. Oh my gosh, girl, you can talk, I know that's right. Okay guys, well we're about to go take photos and have a blast of week, so I just wanted to pop her in here, but yay, Pageant yeah, Powerhouse good. Week, yep. woohoo. Okay, right, bye guys. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm here with... Prisha Dow, the Miss Kentucky Preteen for 2022. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so what are you looking forward to the most this week? Just making a lot of friends and memories and hopefully being able to create an impact that's nationally known. Yes, I know that's right, girl. Well, best of luck to you. And Thank guys, you. she slays. So like, subscribe, hit that bell. You know what to do. Okay, y'all. So last night we left one of our suitcases in the airport and had all my competition earrings in it. And literally, the devil tried it, but <laughs> we got it. Yeah. <laughs> great your girl is tired though and like my social battery is like slowly but surely like mm. only because i'm tired not because i'm having a good time but because i'm tired but we're locked out of our room so my mom went downstairs to get a key 
probably be late to the neon party because of that but we're not gonna speak that into existence we're gonna try to get ready as fast as possible Alrighty, y'all it's one of my favorite events of all pageant neon party let's go turn up Okay guys, so we finished the runway and how did I do mommy? Excuse me? Yeah, she know that her energy need to be better when she telling me how I did because she be having me paranoid. She be like, you did good. And I be like, I did good. Like, what, is, what do you mean? Like, because if I killed it, she would be like, oh my God, that was so amazing. You did such a good job. So if she just say it was good, I'm skeptical. I think I did a really good job. Um, I didn't really like, I was like so calm. Like before I walked out, I prayed and like, I literally walked out on stage and I did not feel nervous at all. Like at all. Like I just felt regular. I don't know. <laughs> but I did that. I did a great job. The red looks good. This is probably my last pageant for a while but when i do make a pageant come back i wasn't I gonna think about wearing red on stage at first, because but i had to that realize that i'm here to show um, but now i have a break i got some really um, bad work with one of my clients in between i'm texting my mom and her mom and see turn off my game but, but yeah, i had to cry about it and wipe my tears and remember that i was there for a purpose and to keep pushing correspondent and i'm wearing my same dress from runway because yeah why not i love it so Twelve thirty a.m. and we are braiding my hair. Most tomorrow, casual wear, actress, spokesmodel, rehearsal. Good morning, friends. We are getting ready for home state pride rehearsal and then gift exchange. I have casual wear at. Um, 11 45 and we should be done around 10 30 so i'm just doing my eyeshadow and before the rehearsal so that way i don't have to worry about it when i come back but yeah so i'm just doing my makeup my eyeshadow at least i'm gonna try to get as far as i possibly can uh, at this point, I'm not switching up the eyeshadow look. I've been using the same three shades as optional today. Um, and then under the C party later. So I'll um, do more of a, you know, glam, glam. I'll glam it up later for optionals. But yeah, I am a little crampy this morning. Stomach is cramping a bit. Um, which is normal when you're a woman. Um, so I'm just trying to, you know, kind of keep calm, cool, and collected. 
but overall love it here as per usual so let me go and focus and finish my makeup and i'll see you guys later Hi friends, we just got done special work. I almost threw up when I got off stage. I'm not dead, I'm tired and it's hot, so. Okay friends, we are about to go down for a small, small. I'll be fine. She's 22 years old and the founder of Gotta Have Faith Foundation. The title of her speech is My Most Admired Woman. This empowered is how I felt every time she spoke. Represented is how I felt watching her break glass ceilings. Grateful is how I feel knowing her legacy lives on within me and all of those she inspired. When you think of a role model, what comes to mind? Is it just someone you look up to? Is it someone with the success that you want? According to the Webster Dictionary, a role model is an example to be imitated. But my role model was one of a kind. Some may know her just from her accomplishments as a lawyer, advocate, correspondent, or Miss USA. But I know her as Chesley Chris, my most admired woman. When I learned that Chesley took her life, the world stopped. I was in disbelief that someone I related to so much and radiated such joy can make such a heartbreaking decision. Maya Angelou once said, people won't remember what you did or said. They will remember how you made them feel. Although I'll never get a chance to meet her, I find comfort in knowing that she left a positive impact in this world. Chesley, I thank you. Thank you so much for inspiring me to be the change I wish to see through your advocacy. Thank you so much for getting me through my darkest days with your infectious laugh. Thank you for just being you. May you rest in power and your legacy live on forever. Round of applause for number 66, Faith Kiyoshi. Bassett, and her favorite movie is Black Panther. Slate your name. Faith Pierre Charles. Action in three, two, one. I have an exciting announcement. It's the flavor we've all been waiting for. And here to announce it is the newest member of our team, Hazelnut Spread m and Smoke Candy. Try them today. 
you guys so head the under the sea party sponsored by Ashley Lauren and Ashley Renee's I just left a session with one of my clients getting her ready for her intro tomorrow morning now I'm about to go back to my room and take this beat off it's getting off take this beat off and I have agency call next morning I got six of them so that's cool. So we're gonna go do that in the morning. And yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the week. Oh, my ears are popping. What? Good morning, friends. It is very early. It is just about, I, I still haven't got all the glitter off, but it's just about 8 a.m. We are headed down to callbacks with agencies. Oh my God, six of them. So I'm actually pretty excited, it's pretty cool. So now we're about to go. Guess who's here, guys? Yeah. Are you gonna vlog? <laughs> yeah. What you think? Yeah. Yay. She's back. It's Little Mike Gaming. No gaming. It's Little Mike. Yeah. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on his videos. It's my nephew. Young prodigy. Say what's up, like hello people. Ew. The last the last time you were in my vlog, you did not sound like that. <laughs> what's up, people? <laughs> but we just watched well, I just watched one of my clients compete and what was it? Um intro. So now I'm it's a five all the time. And from fashion, and yeah, my client's about to eat it up. Yeah, gotta have faith. You already know. I get downstairs. Who does she think? Guess she what? Is? I forgot her banner. <laughs> it's a baddie lie. Uh, it's a vibe. 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 <laughs> Good morning, friends. It's entry day, so I'm sitting here on the floor in front of Team Emma Jones Week because I'm really early. So I don't want to walk in there too early earlier than my time, but super excited, feeling super thankful to be here at the I Am Pageant Powerhouse. This organization has literally changed my life, and to be here on the day that we should be giving thanks is absolutely insane. So. Let's get this face beat by my favorite. And we are beat. I went the wrong way. I'm all right. We are beat by Emory Jones. Clean, fresh, glitter. Alright, y'all. This is time for interviews. 
Okay, friends, interview is officially over. One main competition down, two more to go. I feel unbelievably content and grateful with how everything went on this Thanksgiving. I was absolutely 100% myself. I talked about all the things that I wanted to talk about and yeah, now it's in God's hands and the judges' hands and stage competition is next. So today we're just gonna enjoy Thanksgiving cheer on our friends and then i have a rehearsal a little bit later but right now it's just giving calm fit and yeah so i'll see you guys later yeah! Thanksgiving. My mom is about to stone some of my gown. I'm about to sharpie my gown earrings. It's just a beautiful Thanksgiving. <laughs> mm. my snack. Yeah, because you look hungry. Yeah. Oh, it... What's wrong with me today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just fed her, y'all. I bought her a nice little Thanksgiving meal mm. and she's still hungry. Get it together. Mm. But I'm going to show y'all what my earrings look like when I'm done. If you have earrings, right, and you have this regular AB earring, AB stone earrings or just regular silver earrings, and you want colored earrings, use a Sharpie. I have a thin Sharpie, so it's going to be a little hard. But use a Sharpie. Get you a, a thick Sharpie. And just scrub over it like twice. Let it air dry. You're going to have you some new colored earrings. Here yeah, I'm going to show y'all. So, this is the earring originally, and this is the earring after yellow sharpie. Perm. Yeah, I'm getting into it. <laughs>
and I literally feel like a freaking doll. It's giving, yeah, team memory to that. Hi friends, so we are officially finished. Ooh, we are officially finished all phases of competition. We are done. Is in God's hands. Yeah. Hey vlog. Y'all, it's my bestie. She it. She it. Ate it up. Almost ate the floor and still ate it up. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Um, I'm really happy with my performance. I literally wouldn't change a thing about it. Obviously, I slipped. Sounds a little bit salty, but I still turned around and said, mm, what slipped? Who cares? It was a part of the performance. I had to make y'all think I slipped. But really, I ate it up. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. And then after that, Salima won the National American Miss Junior Preteen title. So as soon as I left, I couldn't even, I didn't even really think about the, the slip. I literally just ran to her show. Um, but yeah, I feel so grateful and so happy and content with how everything went. Um, we have red carpet awards in the morning, so I literally have to recompete in the morning and then we have a final show and we'll see how that goes. So yeah, y'all, I'll see you tomorrow. Alrighty, friends, we are about to go get touched up before red carpet awards. Please top three. I mean, I'm going to top five and three. So, got a lot of competing to do, but about to go get touched up and get this show started. I will put in here videos from the show. And y'all know Fun Fashion made amazing, although I slipped. I still feel really good about it. So, let's pray and hope I made top 16. And let's hope and pray I win an optional. That's like a really big goal of mine. 
but placing top five, Bo already smashed, especially in this book model. So now it's just time to let God do the rest. All right, you guys. So it is 30 minutes to line up. I'm on my way to get my touch up. How cute are these freaking opening number dresses though? Are you kidding me? And look at my best in the back looking like a goddess that she is. So yeah. She's gonna kill it. Hope so. But yeah, we, I should've took my jacket cause I'm cold. It's okay. Um, but yeah, we're about to go get touch ups. And then after touch ups, I'm gonna go to the dressing room for lineup. And yeah, that's it, we're done. The hair spray. Yeah. I feel so special, like a celebrity. <laughs> All right. Yay! <laughs> Beautiful. Woo! with one of these amazing Miss Delegates. Just who will take home the crown of opportunities? Or could it be Haiti? of our fourth runner-up, 
She is South Africa. Second runner up in the world, and it goes to Central Florida. All right, ladies, head down the runway. Then there were two, both deserving, both qualified. But one will be the first runner up, and one will be your new international junior miss. The name that we are about to call is the name of the first runner up. First runner up in the world. She's Kansas. Ladies and gentlemen, our new international junior miss is Katie. Joined by her new sister queens, we've got three new dynasty members. honor to him first um i'm gonna be here for the rest of the week and so i'm gonna take you out behind the scenes on the photo shoot the whole shebang this time my photo shoot is this weekend so i'm gonna see y'all when i see y'all by y'all Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, stop it, stop it. Oh. Oh. 
one dance. He, he, he took a picture of me. He knew when I was like in my pajamas and my like extreme comfort. <laughs> I literally remember that. I do too. Okay. I need to give you a hug really quick. Mm -hmm. I like my face right now. Yeah. Oh, I need a photo with you. I'm like, dang girl. Our little you. But, yeah. You're like, yes. Yes. But, <laughs> it's me. Yeah. Our little Kansas Junior Team. Hey guys. So we're backstage at the Junior Team State Queen show. And now we feast. Amen. Plead the blood. Amen. I already feasted. Yummy. It's currently 6.30 and my makeup contract is 6.45. I have my new crown, crown box, and I'm about to head to get beat by makeup on this guy. We are officially leaving the I Am Pageant Powerhouse. We are walking away as the newly crowned 2022-2023 International Junior Miss. And I'm beyond grateful and excited for this year. So make sure you guys stay tuned for all that's to come. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next vlog.